Here's a quick little video about the Castle Link programming cable. I got it off eBay for like 20 bucks. Comes with a few stickers. It's a USB cable that plugs to your computer. And the other end to a little adapter that plugs to your ESC. Let me kill this light. This little adapter is the main part of it. As you can see here, it's flashing red and green, which means I have a proper connection. If it was just red, that means it's upside down. There's no up and down on here, so you have to plug it in, see which way is the right way. It doesn't hurt anything plugging in the wrong way. And you have the green light on the uh, ESC that you know that's connected. So you plug this in. Once you plug, before you plug it into your car, put the adapter to the USB, plug it, plug it into your computer. It automatically register. Then it takes you to the website where you download the software, which will give you two: the Castle Link Graph View and the Castle Link the actual programming, the blue one on the bottom. The top one is like just a graph. Say you want bashing one week, then the next week, and you want to check your performances and all that. That's what that is. Now I'm going to go to the actual program. I have two cars. My other one's already set up for LiPo. I've been running this one on the factory battery. I'm going to get and switch over to LiPos. I'm tired of carrying two different batteries. And you can do all that with this program. So when you plug it up, it register. That's the speed control that my that this car has. Whichever you have, it'll show up on here just like this. At the bottom, show that you have a connection, a good USB connection, and a good car connection. I'll explain that later. Up top, different options. You can adjust everything. I'll go through all of it. I know some of it, so I'm not a I'm not high tech with this right here, but I trial and error a lot. So I got it pretty much running the way I wanted to run. Go to basic. Here's where you can switch over to the, uh, the batteries. Now you can do it manually by playing with the remote and the car at the same time. Forward, backward, stop, all that crap. To switch it from factory battery to a lipo battery. Or spend a couple of dollars, buy this program, do it back and forth how you want, when you want. Right now there's no cutoff because that's the factory battery. Now to set it to a light pole, simply hit it, go down a light pole. That's it. Now it's ready. Once I'm done everything, I'll go down here and I hit update. It'll send all the information through the USB to the car. That's simple. If you're confused how this works or don't know what's what, like right here, this little number, this is the voltage of the cutoff at. It didn't register yet, but it'll automatically go to 6 because light pole, the one I have is I have the, uh, the 2S. So it all makes shut off at 6.0. But you can adjust it how you want to have it shut off. Don't know what something is, hit the question mark. It explains it to you right here. The cutoff voltage is set to protect the LiPo battery, blah, blah, blah. Go down here, your options. Best racing, don't cut it off, but you use it anyway. So I'm using a 2 cell, so it'll be 6.0. There is no 4. So it, like I said, it adjusts itself as I go along. Or you can set it to what you want to set it to. They recommend it three, but you can set it how you want to set it. Uh, reverse, you can turn off the reverse in the car if you want. Motor direction. In case you want to squeeze the trigger one way for the car to go one way, or the opposite way the factory has it set. I have a brushless motor. It worked with brush, high powered, reverse, whatever. You can set the beep, so you know how the car beeps every now and then. To remind you that the car is on, you can turn it off and on. Brake amount, how much brake is applied when you squeeze the brake. I got mine at 70, but I like a good stop. You can turn that down, you can turn it up to 100. Brake drag, I'm not too sure what that means. I mean, you get the question mark, explain it to you. Slow cars while flying, brake motor. I don't mess with all that. I just use brakes. Okay, the next one is power. Max power. I used 100. You can turn that down. Say so you want to use all your cars full of max. Well, say you like you let your little cousin, little brother, sister, somebody play with it. 
You don't want them to have all that power in their hands. You can adjust it. Same for reverse. Punch, I'm not sure. So there's a question mark there. It explained to you. I don't really care. Like I said, I'm not into it like that. This is a hobby for me, not a way of life and all that other stuff. You can, you can perform a motor test. To run this test, the motor test, you have to disconnect the drive belt or the crank off the motor. Because it's going to spin the motor to tell you the RPMs, you know, how fast it goes. It's like a dyno. So make sure you disconnect that pulley or the belt. Senseless motor timing, like I said, the professionals might know what all this means. I don't mess with it. I don't need to mess with it. Start low, arming time. Everything here is adjustable. Your throttle curve. Like I said, you can save that. You can adjust that. Your brake curve, same thing. Adjustable. Save and print in case you want to save it or print it out. I guess compare it with your friends or whatever. Like I said, I'm not into all that. That's, that's a lot. The, here's the firmware. They update it every now and then. So it's good to turn it on, run an update to make sure everything is up to date. Uh, that's about it. Now, like I said, I did that. I changed it over to LiPo. So now I go down, I hit update. Writing throttle curves, updating settings complete. That's it. Just like that, now my car is running LiPo.